Have you been having problems lately falling asleep? No matter what you do, you can't fall asleep, right? You've even been so desperate in Delulu and tried the placebo gummy bears, but none of that seems to work? We've all been there, don't worry about it. You shouldn't feel stupid that you got scammed by some gummy bears that even a 10 year old wouldn't buy. Because today I'll be introducing you the solution, the Coochie Pleaser 6000. All you have to do is turn it on before you go to bed. You know the rest. Trust me, you won't have any problems falling asleep after that. And I'm not even a woman. How was that? Was that a good ad? How many of you actually figured that that was an ad? Everyone, right? Because it was very, very obvious. I actually had a comment about this. I think the comment said something like, oh, is that your actual, actual toy? Do you use that? Guys, this is my beard trimmer. I use this to trim my beard. <laughs> what? Now on today's video, the tea is boiling. A bunch of TikTokers slash YouTubers are doing these ads on TikTok and they're not really disclosing that it's an ad. They make it seem like they're doing an honest, genuine review, but in reality, it's an ad. Why do TikTokers never disclose ads? I've seen so many ads on this app and none of them are disclosed. Not even a hashtag ad. FTC makes it really clear that it's illegal not to disclose an ad. Tell people about your brand relationship along with your endorsement. Not in your profile, not in a bunch of hashtags. Put it early in the message or superimposed prominently on the picture. On TikTok for the longest time, people were actually cheating the system, not disclosing their ads, which made it illegal. So FTC had to update their guidelines. They had to do it a couple of times because these TikTokers were so slick that they would always find a way to do an ad without disclosing it. One of these TikTokers happens to be Michaela, and she was actually in a bunch of drama a couple of months ago. Also recently with her new ad that she did, that they don't make it obvious that a product if you review that they're doing is an ad look how long and lengthened my lashes look. you this literally just changed my life this looks like false this is how what <laughs> it's this l'oreal telescopic lift look at the wand okay cool look at the length do you see that i am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> so that was the whole video and uh, nowhere in the video did, does she say that it's an actual ad. I did take a look at the description, really looking for where it says that this might be. Sometimes they're slick enough to just put hashtag ad and they don't have to say anything, but there is no hashtag ad anywhere in this description. The only thing that I could see is L'Oreal Paris partner or who's L'Oreal Paris partner? Is that her wife? Is she talking about Paris Hilton? Is Paris Hilton's full name L'Oreal Paris Hilton? Michaela is married to Paris Hilton? She was only there for a couple of seconds and the text was so tiny so you wouldn't actually notice. Look at this. Look how long right my here. My lashes look you l this literally just changed my life. Gone. In seven seconds, the text is gone. So unless you're paying attention to the first seven seconds, you would never know that this is an ad. Thank God, TikTok had to add a paid partnership tag or sticker or whatever. And it's underneath the description because no way on earth you would know that this is an ad. Because the experience of TikTok is a little different on the phone, I don't know if Michaela did this intentionally, but when you look at the video here, you know the L'Oreal Paris partner tag that you could see on the computer. On the phone, it's actually hidden because when you use a green screen filter on the app, it actually shows above the username of the TikToker. So on your phone, you would never see the L'Oreal Paris partner because it's hidden behind the green screen video. What are the odds that she inserts the text right behind the green screen video? Everything is alleged, but I'm just saying. Her putting the name of the brand right behind the green screen video? I don't know. This happened beginning of January, and I didn't talk about it because mistakes happen, I get that. But when it becomes the new norm to not tell your viewers that it's an ad, that's what gets me. Because she did it again in another ad that she just posted a couple of days ago. I'm gonna prove to you that even if you use one of the most affordable makeup brands, Essence, you can achieve a look that looks just as good, if not better, than high-end makeup. That's right, we're doing a full face of Essence. I have always wanted to do this. <laughs> always Essence wanted, so yeah. Good. In my dreams, I have always 
wanted to do a full face makeup using Essence if they decide to pay me. So if Essence is watching this video, go ahead and send me a DM and I'll send you my rates for an ad because I would love to use your products for one of my videos. All of my videos are all about makeup. Keep in mind, I'm gonna keep things as respectful as possible. Well, at least some of them are about makeup. No? Well, maybe not all of them, but I'm sure I've made one ma- Not even one makeup tutorial video? Let's do this thing. Skin is really dry, so let's get- As I sat there for almost three minutes watching a sponsored video, waiting for her to announce that this was an ad, which, guess what, she never did. And you know I'm not making my viewers watch a three minute undisclosed ad. This, it's all Essence. It's crazy. Essence, affordable, high quality, all at the drugstore. You don't need high-end makeup, babe. No, you, you don't. need essence. Wait, how long was this? I'm gonna prove to you that even if you Wait, use one of the most affordable makeup brands. Oh my God, was this three seconds? Two. It's one of the most affordable. Three. <gasps> three seconds. The partner thing, which is not even telling you that it's an ad. I could sneeze and I would miss the hint that this might be a sponsored video. Sweetie? Yes? I have some bad news for you. Your grandpa died. Wait, what? My grandpa died? Oh my god, that's so sad. Let's go, we're leaving. Give me a sec, mom. I'll be right down there. I gotta watch this video real quick. Michaela did a full face with cheap makeup. You know how you can turn on the paid partnership option? That's the reason why TikTok added the option paid bar partnership so your viewers would know that it's an ad. But on this one, it's not here. Nor did she disclose that this is an ad. There's nothing wrong with doing ads. If a makeup company messages me right now, hey, you know what? $15,000 if you do a full face with our dollar store makeup. Do you want me to eat the makeup as well? Like, do you want me to eat my lunch with your makeup to show how clean your makeup is? Do you want me to say that your makeup fixed my depression? For $15,000? I would eat their ass, honestly. $15,000, okay. I have no shame. But at least I would disclose that it's an ad. So the funniest part about this entire thing is that she actually did review this brand about 10 months ago. And uh, let's just say that the honest review was not as positive as the actual ad. This new foundation from Essence is only $6.99. So let's try it. Let me tell you something. I got these at Alta, okay? The shade range is not it. There's 20 shades, oh. but do these three not look exactly the fucking same? <laughs> and listen to the names. Fair, Pale, and Porcelain. How the fuck are you supposed to... What did she say? Fair, Pale, and Porcelain. Fair, Pale, and Porcelain? What is a Porcelain? Oh my god, New Yorkers. I love you guys, but what the hell is a Porcelain? Porcelain. Don't even get me started on the coffee, Dora, Pos. And then shade pale. Bruh. <laughs> First of all, that's not pale. So this but, is not the... Wow. It's so similar. Anyways, aside from the terrible shade range, let's try the foundation. Okay. Michaela, if you're watching this video, I think you might want to delete this because I'm pretty sure Essence wouldn't uh, like this honest review that you did a while ago. So if you want to get that bag again, just a message from a fellow YouTuber, you might want to delete this TikTok if you want to get sponsored again. Okay, for $6.99, I would definitely use the foundation again. I will say if my skin was extra dry that day, I would not use this, but my skin is, you know, well hydrated today. And so it worked out. For the concealer, I'm gonna pass. I think it's just like a whatever concealer. It didn't cover what I like concealer to cover. And it's just like, whatever. Like, there's way better affordable concealers. So she was not happy with the majority of the products that she used, but when she does an ad, life-saving products, it fixed her cat's UTI. It also gave her a BBL when she bought the entire package. So they've enabled something called the paid partnership label. You've probably seen this in the past. Which she didn't use. there should also be a disclosure in the caption. Something within the first line, meaning before the word- The ad. You have to expand the caption. And typically this is something as easy as hashtag ad 
add. And it shouldn't be an ambiguous hashtag like Which partner she didn't or use as well. because some people just won't know what that means. I've also seen brands request that this disclosure is written within the video itself. And if that's the case, it shouldn't be hidden behind your username or the effect tag. As a consumer, you have a right to know whether or not someone is being paid to talk about a product. And it's deceptive and shady if an influencer tries to trick you into thinking a video is something it's not. <coughs> Michaela, <coughs> Michaela. <laughs> oh. It's flu season. Sorry, guys. Hold your faves accountable. There have been times when an influencer's video has popped up on my For You page that is so clearly an ad. So I'll comment, is this an but ad? But they don't care. Guess what? Sometimes that comment gets deleted. Got my answer. Wait, they're actually deleting comments? I mean, if they're shady enough to hide that it's an ad, I would not be surprised that they're deleting comments. This is not it, though. <laughs> I came here to expose some TikTokers. Moving on to Mainly Moi, which... Shit just gets worse. This dude does not give a flying F about people knowing that this is an ad. And when I ta- Fuck you. Oh, here you go. I got the flying F that you needed. Michaela was generous enough to put it in her video that this was a essence partner or something. Manny? What's that? Full face of new essence makeup. Keep me covered. This is fantastic. It's transfer and waterproof. Baby, this ain't coming off. Let me tell you something. This coverage, yeah. insane. It's insane. I know. I'm snatched. Maybe that brain was snatched. Is that what he's talking about? I'm a gloss snob. If there any kind of sticky, I don't want it. I'm telling you, Essence just does it right. Essence just does it does right. It right. Yeah. I'm not even wearing a lash and I still feel sickening. He is, did you hear that? He's not even wearing a lash and he's feeling sickening. Damn, dude, if you're feeling sickening, I feel like you should go to the hospital because feeling sick is never a good thing, honestly. Never does he mention that this is sponsored. Nothing in the video itself. Hashtag essence partner, not hashtag ad and didn't even disclose the paid partnership thing. Oh, the comment section is mad. Great job disclosing that this is an ad. This is an ad? And then we have another one of my favorite TikTokers slash YouTubers, Laura Lee. Wait, I just realized all of these TikTokers are actually, have been canceled before. I wonder why they were canceled. Full face of Essence Beauty. Again. The Keep Me Covered Foundation. Is Nothing. A foundation has quickly become one of my favorite drugstore foundations. And baby, the coverage is unreal. When she said the coverage is unreal, you guys do know that she's talking about the bills, right? Essence really covered all her bills for that month. That's what she means by the coverage is unreal. Keep Me Covered Concealer. Did you guys know that nothing from Essence is over $15? And actually most of their products cost around $9 to $10. Really? I feel like they've come up so much in the past few years. They have so many staple good products. This wow. concealer blends out like a dream. It also has great coverage. Thank God she mentioned again that it has great coverage. I was just thinking, I was watching this entire review and I'm like, does this product have good coverage though? Because I've been watching for the past 20 seconds and you only mentioned it 20 times. So I'm not really sure. Is Does it have good coverage or not? <laughs> oh my god, these ads. Baby, the coverage is unreal. It also has great coverage. I mean, this coverage, insane. Covers everything. This is full coverage. Ooh, honey, it is a look. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Because I'm obsessed. Is it me or the shade looks kind of weird? You know, it doesn't match her face. I'm not a makeup artist or whatever, but I feel like this looks bad. This has nothing to do with the brand. I just think she did a terrible job at doing her job. <laughs> so nothing in the video, not even the paid partnership on the description. So like, how were people supposed to know that this was an ad? Essence team is working hard, but I actually love them. I love Essence too. I mean, obviously you love Essence because they're paying your bills. I would also love Essence if they paid my bills. Man Wait, Manny is here. He said Essence is that girl. Essence, damn, Essence is paying for everyone's bills. How come they're not paying for my fucking bills? Essence <laughs> so funny, Michaela did this too. Yes, we are sponsored. <gasps> wait, she actually said that she's sponsored by the brand after you scroll down in the comment section because someone had to ask a question like, oh my God, didn't Michaela and Manny Moi do the same video with Essence? It's kind of weird how all these influencers did the same video about the same brand the same day. <laughs> oh my God, this world is so crazy. Hi, this is Lara. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm, I'm the girl in the video. I just wanted to say that. So I just buy it, right? I, I didn't, I didn't hear you. What? 
This was actually spawned by the rat. Wait, what? I'm saying that it was spawned by the rat. I I can't actually. What, what's that last part again? Are you deaf? This was actually the brand. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're saying. What is the last part? Just it keeps cutting off. What is? It's 2023. There needs to be a technology for deaf people where they can have captions in real life. Cause I just said that this video was man, Jesus. When I made a video on my second channel and this was really random, the topic wasn't about influencers and brands. I just happened to come across one of these TikTok influencers where she did an ad and she didn't disclose that it was an ad. I'm gonna drop it's my all time favorite flavor, but I have a new flavor to try and I'm so excited. One thing Keola is not kidding about is how good their grains taste, so I'm so excited to finally try mixed berry. Isn't this just an ad? Bye. These both taste so good, I honestly don't think I could pick a favorite. Keola tastes so good, it's actually Girl, hard this to believe is an how ad. many benefits it has. First of all, isn't this illegal that she never mentioned that this was an ad? Even on the description, this girl never mentions that this is an ad. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'll be checking my email every day now to see if I get a makeup brand that wants to sponsor me. Because as I said, if there's a brand out there that wants to sponsor me, I will literally do anything as long as you guys get to pay my bills. <laughs> if you feel like watching my videos today early, go ahead and become a member. I get that you're trying to help the brand get some sales, but it's so shady to do that to your viewers that love you, you know, them not knowing that it's an ad. You shouldn't have to use a magnifying glass to see a small text on the bottom of the screen that says hashtag ad. And it doesn't even say hashtag ad.